Show me something. Hello and welcome to the Show Me Something podcast. I am Will. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jacob. And this week I showed our friends the 1995 Disney Vietnam War film Operation Dumbo Drop uh, directed by Simon Winter. He of Free Willy and the Phantom fame. Uh, apparently, he also made Quigley Down Under, which I think Jacob has seen. It is a classic. It's one of the only um, Australian westerns that I've ever heard of, but it's the only one that I've seen. <laughs> what about Mad Max? Mad Max is basically a western. It's yeah, not kinda, Mad Max. Eh. I don't. I would not say Mad Max is a western. Quigley okay, Down Under for, would be considered like a like if it was if it was placed western. in yeah if it was placed in America it would be like a true western because it's like a bunch okay. of ranchers. Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But huge Free Willy guy, and I was also a huge Phantom guy, so I didn't know that the same director was behind all those movies, but uh, I can save that gushing for my review section. Um, what'd you guys think? Okay. So, what a film. <laughs> what a movie. What a, like... So, I... I laughed out loud quite a few times during this. I'm not even going to lie. I was like, that was funny. Uh, It's ridiculous. Yeah. There's so many points in this where I'm just like, what? What even? And I don't even know where to go with this whole thing. Like, the cast is kind of crazy with Ray Liotta, Danny Glover, Dennis Leary. Mm. Like, that's some, like, heavy hitter kind of actor guys Dougie Doug. Don't forget Dougie Doug, bro. I, I okay. I don't actually remember cool him from runnings? anything else. Oh my god, he cool was in Cool Runnings. I have. Yeah, oh my god. He's Sampa. What's his name? I, I'm gonna fuck up his name probably, but Sampa, I think, oh. is his name. In cool oh, he was also in Shark Tale. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Shark Tales. <laughs> That's Sanka. Classic. Sanka. He was He's funny. An eight leg, look, eight legged was... freaks. Come on. I haven't seen it. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't anyway, seen Anyway, also just a great great name, Doug E. Doug. It is a classic It's a great name. name. Sorry. Continue, but continue like, I am so surprised I'd never even heard of this Disney movie. Yeah, also, and, um, uh, I asked one of our very big Disney friends who works at Disney. Um, he also hadn't heard of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fucked. That's fucked. Makes sense. I mean, it, uh, critically, not the best received critically a mess i think you're being very polite critically panned. I think it's critically um, fucking destroyed. regardless i did actually have a decent amount of fun watching it there were some parts where i was like what no, come on Dis like it's like this most of the stuff that i went like really like groaned about in my to myself was like that's because it's a disney movie like that was the main stuff like this is nom and no one dies in this entire movie. <laughs> well, the elephant dies. We have one elephant death at the very beginning, and that's it. That's His dad it. dies? Ah, that's a flashback. This doesn't count. That's a, they, <laughs> they start. <laughs> what? Uh, just Every just Disney movie has flashback away. deaths. Almost all of I them. I guess. My mom I feel died. Like it My counts, though. Kids, kids in Disney movies are not allowed to have parents. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. That's a good point. But no I've one actually really like about Disney film. dies in the moment throughout this entire movie. It's a nom. They're in Vietnam, in the middle of the yeah. war. Yeah. No one, anyways. <laughs> um. Regardless, I did have a pretty good time with this. You know, laughed out loud, groaned, but the groans were kind of amusing in a way. Yeah. Yeah couple other things i was like like even disney has to know that that was just too much even yeah. for kids uh but regardless i think i give this oh gosh what do i give this i'll give this a six i think a six I'll out of it. ten i had f- six and a half six and a half out of ten i had fun with it there was some issues with it hmm uh, the amount of liberties they took from the like true story that it was based on is kind of insane because I did look that up because I was curious. Yeah, uh, and I'll talk about that when we get in there. Cool. 
But yeah, six and a half out of ten. I had fun with it. I would definitely show it to somebody else. Yeah. Just to be like, you haven't heard of this Disney movie? <laughs> All right. Get ready for a wild ride. <laughs> like, cool. Yeah, and that's I'm glad to hear it. That's good. How about you, that's Tab? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if you guys heard any banging audience out there, but I, I had to, <laughs> my my beer like exploded for some reason. <laughs> so like I had to go and clean that up and like hit my headphones <laughs> off my head um, because my hands had beer all over them. <laughs> to be fair, they probably wouldn't hear it because all of our audio is separate right now. So Abby could just mute your audio in the editing process. Well, what could you do? I felt like I had to tell it because I had to go run away. <laughs> so I don't know I, what Trevor I tr- said. I tried to address it as you ran away, but Trev kept trucking. I was like a tra- professional, so that's yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's Trev's all right. experience. Um, yeah, so so you thought it was all right, Trevor? Um, yeah, I um, I did not like it. I <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bad movie. Um, I thought it was boring. It was not entertaining. Um, I didn't think it was funny. The only part of it that I thought was funny was the elephant falling out of the airplane. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was um, hilarious. Everything else, I did not see even where the jokes were. I didn't, because uh, it's listed as a comedy, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just didn't think it was funny. I thought it was really boring. <laughs> I don't know. I like Ray Liotta and Danny Glover, um, but like... Yeah, it just wasn't, it didn't hit it for me. I was like, man, I don't know. I, I, I was so shocked to, like, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I didn't think I was going to dislike it that much. Um, <laughs> and, like, it surprised me that, like, well, it didn't surprise me that you liked it, but I, I was like, I, I wonder what, I'm really curious to, th- to know what you think, Will, now that you're re-watching it as an adult, because it's like a movie yeah. that is definitely, like, I would say it probably leans towards kids because the plot's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. And but like, there's not even like a whole lot of stakes. It's like what what Trevor was saying before with like the the violence and stuff. It's it's insane that the, like <laughs> the it's just some of the parts in it. I just it killed me that like there's <laughs> they just don't. It, this isn't a fucking. It's Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> and like people are like, no man, we gotta be nice and shit. And they like not shooting each other. The fucking the VC like run at them. Like they don't use any of the guerrilla tactics. They like go up to them. It's like what the fuck's happening right now? They shoot in the air first, and they're just, like, stop, oh, man. They use a mortar on a boat. Um, it's just, <laughs> so, I cannot wait to talk about the, that. That's the, the thing. French guy I'm, I think oh. is the goat of the movie. Um, he plays both sides because you got to survive. Um, but yeah, I just did not like it. I I really didn't like it. I watched it this morning. Um, like I woke up and like grabbed a cup of coffee and like you know went over to my computer, and started watching it. it. Just was a bad way to wake up. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend anybody watching it uh, unless they were just gonna put it on for their kids. Because um, it's uh, yeah, you could definitely show it to a kid uh, without any issues. There's no like graphic violence or anything horrible stuff in it um, there should have been but uh yeah i will give it a four out of ten i did not like it i <laughs> thought it was um fine the reason i i don't give it lower is because i think the the production is really like the on the production aspect of it they did a really good job because it's disney produced um you like it you're not seeing any stuff you would see in a classic bad movie where it's like horrible angles or bad acting or like any of that sort of stuff like bad lighting bad script writing or any of that stuff the, the that stuff's not in it it's just not an entertaining movie in my opinion so the that's, only sorry question- that's that's where i'm at <laughs> yeah no, the only great. questionable acting in this whole thing i feel like is the little kid but that's because he's a kid so what are you gonna do i don't yeah. think he was that bad this is I also think his people, i think people give only kids credit. a bad, bad rap yeah well, this is his only credit uh on imdb so i mean clearly wasn't an actor um cool so before i get into my review i think that this movie succeeded twofold uh in some things that this podcast has been sorely lacking uh one of which being jacob giving a thing a bad review um so this is i think i'm pretty sure this is jacob's first sub like seven sub seven out of ten sub six Sub six for sure. Sub six. Okay. I, still, I think That's... I think I gave Dave and Stripes around a six or a six and a half. 
Okay. So they were fun. We got Jacob below a six. We got Jacob below a six. And that's actually and then hard B, to do. I will tell you that. And <laughs> it's yeah. really hard to do. <laughs> so I didn't bring it with that intention. I brought it, as I mentioned during the Stripes episode, with the intention of trying to not come with something that's like critically acclaimed or snobby, but something that I truly genuinely love. Uh, and also because I felt so bad about destroying everything that Trevor had brought up until that point. Um, and I still you know, didn't which hate started, this. So. Yeah, I, I <laughs> no, think I know. He, I think you got to try not to feel bad, though. Like, it's... it's no, I know, don't. We got to rate each other's stuff. I mean, I think all of us come 100%. into it knowing that somebody's, like, not going to love it as much as we do. Yeah. Like, but the impetus know. to bring this... The impetus to bring this now... I mean, this was on my list from the jump, but I was probably going to save it for a later episode. But it just felt like I had... I hadn't really brought something that was necessarily a fun thing to talk about. Or like a which risky is, thing. I mean, yeah, a risky thing. Your mileage may vary, but like all the stuff I've brought is like pretty critically acclaimed uh, or beloved by a community, you know. So it was nice to go back to something that I hold near and dear to my heart, but also that you had both had never heard of. Uh, so that was that was cool. So uh, I think it's a success before we even start the episode. Um so I'm happy as fuck. Uh, so getting into my review section, this has been uh, a pretty tough last couple of days. There's a lot of really horrible shit going on in the country, and I've uh, been diving pretty deep into all of that. And I don't want to politicize this podcast because this is not what this podcast is for. But at the same time, I don't feel right talking about something so lighthearted without mentioning uh, the fact that uh, Black Lives Matter, and just to say rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, yeah, RIP. It's a really critical time in our country to sure. evaluate uh, what the fuck is going on. Uh, that's all I'll say. I don't really want to make it a thing, but I it, it felt weird for me not to address it at all when we were about to have such a lighthearted however amount of time uh, we go into. Yeah. So it's been a weird couple of days, um, and I sat down last night after after work and watch this movie and i smiled for two straight hours that's um crazy. i so like that's the thing, nice right? like, I, that's really nice yeah like <laughs> i grew up on this movie and i haven't seen it i haven't seen it since i was a kid uh i had it on vhs um i i love this movie uh <laughs> There were honestly moments last night when I was watching where I was like, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> that is with full... Uh, Jacob, has his, Jacob has his head in his hands <laughs> for, for the listeners. Now, I, I really need to make it clear that obviously this movie is not good, right? But at the same time, for me, there's no objective way for me to look at this movie. It's a movie from my childhood and one that I loved dearly as a child and like... From the moment it started, I was just fucking grinning ear to ear because, like, it's been probably 15 years, if not more, since I've seen this film. Um, I mean, to be fair, that's probably, like, the same way I look at Max Keeble's big move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that exactly. is a bad like, movie that I love. <laughs> and it's yeah. a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. I probably would feel I, the same uh, way same about thing. something like Agent Cody Banks or something along those lines. Probably. Right. You yeah. know, we all we all have those touchstones. And... Uh, Ironically enough, it's it's for me. It's this and Free Willy, both of which were by the same director, which I didn't know until yeah, you yesterday. You love that movie, man. I fucking love Free Willy. I used to stand on my uh, my living room like coffee table with like my fucking hand over my head, like he does in the movie when the when the whale jumps over him. I used to watch that movie every day, and I would jump up on the table and like do the the power fist. Yeah. Uh, and similarly, there's not really a moment in this movie to to do that to do that with, but. Sammy Windsor's like low key a competent director, and it's really interesting to see uh, the stuff that he's made. I really want to go back and watch Free Willy and The Phantom now that I've watched rewatched this, and obviously I want to see Quickly Done Under as well. He's he's just like is one of those like Disney stable guys. It looks like yeah. like he just made a bunch of like weird kind of offbeat, not super successful Disney films. Um, Was Free Willy at also, the time not super successful? I know it has I think like a cult following now. Free Willy, Free Willy was, but it, I don't think it was a Disney film. I think it was. Oh, a, it's not. Oh. 
I don't think so. I have no I, idea. It seems like a Disney movie yeah, to me, but I probably it haven't does seen for sure. that movie since I was like six or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, and I'm not going to go through the trouble to look it up. I just closed IMDb as I said that. That's so. a Trevor thing. Trevor will come anyway, it's a, Warner, it's, a, it's a Warner Brothers <laughs> film. Yeah, I thought it was Warner. WB. Um, Classic. So, anyway, I mean, there's no way for me to look at this movie objectively. Um, I had a wonderful time rewatching it. As a, as a relic from my childhood, and obviously after a few days where I did nothing but, like, envelop myself in the awful shit that's going on in the world, in the country specifically, I, it was like a really welcome respite, um, so, <laughs> I, like, really want to give it a 9 out of 10, but I know yeah, how whatever ridiculous you do it, that man. is. I mean, it, I, it's, a, for, it's a personal classic for me, right? I'll, I'll give it as many caveats as I can give it, but... I don't think that anybody who's never seen this film will watch it right now and give it a nine out of ten. But as somebody who grew up with with it, I, like it was just so fucking wonderful to return to it and how ri- absolutely fucking ridiculous this movie is. I mean, Disney oh, made a fucking Vietnam movie, and it is bold. not only does no one die, but the whole movie is about airdropping There's almost an no violence. <laughs> There's barely any violence. It's all just poop jokes. And like, you know, there's a like there's poop not jokes for sure. There's a couple poop jokes. It's a lot of elephant poop and elephant vomit. You know, it's like a, it's a Disney movie. Yeah, the um, elephant vomit was shocking. It was gross. It was fucking gross. Yeah. Um, yeah Part of the true it, story, though. Really? See, I can't wait to hear this because I, I was reading. I didn't last look night into the about... true story at all. I finished the movie and fucking walked out of the room. Abby woke up and she was like, how was the movie? And I was like, it was fucking awful. <laughs> I was like a little bit mad washing dishes. I was, I was like, See, I was like, I just so watched this and now I got to clean the that. house. I feel like shit. Like, what, like you're saying you watched it like super early in the morning, Jacob. I watched it last night. I Maybe that wasn't the little... move. But I feel like if I, I would have watched little... it at night, I would have fallen asleep. Because I didn't. Think I was, was still a little yeah. buzzed and watching it at like one o'clock in the morning. See, so. I feel like that might be the way to watch it. If you, is if you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, let's watch it again this weekend and see what happens. Oh God, <laughs> let's not. No, it's fine. We're good. We're All good. Right, anyway, pass. so a hard pass. Um, <laughs> the idea of even like delegating this to be a spoiler zone for this film is absurd. But of course, does anybody else have any final thoughts before we enter the spoiler zone? No, I will say that uh, you really, uh, we can enter the spoiler zone, but guys, uh, if you haven't seen it, you're totally fine. It won't change <laughs> yeah. it. it won't change anything. No, like even if, even if you do want to watch it because you guys liked it a lot, um, it's not going to change the mo- anything. There's no the like big you, twist. <laughs> yeah. No, no, the moment you start this film, you know exactly you're, how it's going to end. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And it honestly might even be movie. more fun. You might even be more fun to listen to this and then to watch it to perform your own. I opinion. think so yeah, too. I think you'll said. be able this to look be... out for stuff. <laughs> yeah. I think this is one so, of the few times that you kind of want to listen to this before you watch the movie. <laughs> I think you could have yeah. done that with, then, with Stripes and Dave too. It, I think it's just a comedy thing. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Because those movies don't the really plot. have like big twists. Maybe I mean, Dave, you wouldn't want to, because Dave has Dave kind of has a twist to it. Stripes, yeah. Stripes, you can fucking <laughs> yeah. You know what? Maybe shout out Dave. <laughs> Maybe I'm feeling Dave, high on Dave yo, now. Dave, hey. was, Dave was Dave low was key. like low key kind of good. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Now it's I grown on it. y'all. We need to come back. We need to circle back we, around to Dave again. We, jo- we <laughs> joked it a lot when we watched it. I think but like, I think we gave it too hard of a time because we came. We just came off. Parasite. We were so new, and we were also yeah. brand new, and our scoring system wasn't established yet. I would probably give Dave a seven. That that like in retrospect, like if I had to if I had to re- retcon it, I would say probably yeah. seven out of ten. I had fun. I, I, like I agree six. with that. I had fun watching Dave, and Dave it was, was a fun funny. Time. And they yeah. had, it Shout had out Trev. interesting and fun plot points and had good characters. <laughs> so. And also Kevin Klein. Now I feel bro. bad. Not a, not enough Kevin Klein in the world. You know what? Shout so out like Trev. Was... Shout out Trev for bringing Shout cool and interesting Trev. things. Yeah, I'm I can't just, wait I'm to, just basking. I, I'm just basking in this like glory. Trev, all yeah, of a Trev's the goat. <laughs> the thing is, let me guess him up a little bit more. I cannot wait to talk about Trevor's next pick. So I'll give you all a little tease. Whoa, whoa, whoa. spoilerinos. <laughs> no Ooh, spoilers. It's a good that's, pick. That's I'm, all I'm gonna say. But I cannot wait to sit and talk about it with y'all. Um, yeah, you don't right, know if that's good or bad. You it's don't know if that's pick. good or bad, my dude. I don't. Yeah, but be, in my opinion, could it's, be a, either it's one. a a great pick and very timely. Yeah. Anyways, um, these are spoilers. All right. So, <laughs> I mean, this this feels like the type of 
movie that is like almost ridiculous to go through chronologically. Uh, basically, but we're going to a little bit. Ugh. Kind of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't make me do it. No, I, I was trying. Will. I was trying I to get caught out of it. So here, I think what, I think we could just be... talk about certain plot points. I don't think we need to painstakingly yeah. talk about I each think, point. Fair. No, we definitely no, don't need fair. to go scene by scene. What I think I'll do is I'll give a general outline of the arc of the film, story wise. The plot is fucking ridiculous. Um, the plot is we can talk about asinine. we can talk about I things we liked that. or things we didn't like. And the plot wasn't even the thing that that I didn't like. It was just. Yeah, I don't know. Just sorry. Just go go ahead. <laughs> oh god. All right. So basically, so we're in the Vietnam War. There's a village in the Vietnam War that <clears throat> is close to where the Ho Chi Minh Trail currently is. The Ho Chi Minh Trail. I'm sure Trevor, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but was a main source of uh, transit for Trevor the War Boy for materials for the North what? Vietnamese Army. Is that correct? It, as far as I know, yes. Yeah. So that yes, it's it was an important thing that was moving around a lot during the Vietnam War. It was like a supply that, line basically. Yes. Okay, so there's a village in the in the mountains of Vietnam that is situated relatively close to the Ho Chi Minh Trail. American troops have situated themselves in this village so that they can keep an eye on the Ho Chi Minh Trail and report intelligence back to command. Danny Glover who is Sam Cahill uh, is currently the captain who's in charge of the Americans in that village, but it's only Danny it Glover. Seems like isn't he's, it? I believe he is by himself. Yeah, he's so like that's the only what it one. Seemed like, yeah. I mean, they didn't show any other Americans. It was just him. No. Hanging out and like drinking yes. rice wine and getting fucked up with the Vietnamese like village elders, which. Again, like I'm going to say that every scene is hilarious because they all make me laugh. But I love that part. So basically, it was so good. They're they're punking the shit out of Ray Liotta. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Do- yeah. Uh, so Doyle comes into town. He is a captain. Also, he's coming in to relieve Danny Glover of his position and to take over. You know, essentially, Danny command. Glover's going home back to Fort yeah, Lauderdale Glover's, to work in a roofing shout out, company. With big his shout out, Fort Lauderdale. Yes, his, yeah, brother. his brother. Yeah, I know. I was, like, I was like, hey, Florida. Yo, what up? <laughs> yeah. Although, we will say um, that uh, West Coast, best coast when it comes to Florida. Yeah, for sure. Here, but here. Also... <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. The movie. Abby's going to cut that out since she's from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> no, true. Um, I mean, it's like so ridiculous to talk about the plot. I like It's such a fucking goofy ass movie. Uh,. They, there's an elephant in the village. The elephant gets killed by the NVA, which is the North Vietnamese Army, because they it's more or less Doyle's fault. They're cooperating with Americans because Doyle gives a fucking crunch bar to a kid. The NVA can we talk comes about in. yeah? Can we talk about candy? Real quick, I wanted to ask you guys. Can we talk what about the crunch bar? Is. Great, great. <laughs> no, I want to talk club. about the. That's what I want to talk about. How much did Nestle pay to have crunch? A couple the, dollars. Five literally everywhere i have a note everywhere the, in this film i have the sixth note is how much do you think they paid for the nestle crunch salute when he gets out of the helicopter and holds the nestle yeah. crunch up to his fan as he salutes that was big bucks <laughs> I, I bet you in like the early 90s oh, that for was sure. fat fat money that what do you guys like what do you guys say in the oh. goat candy is give me a quick uh, top three i York. really love a heath bar i do trevor yeah, I you go first you love top heath. three you're a grandpa. Uh, <laughs> I, I like a Heath bar. You remember that time when you said that, Trevor, and then you couldn't remember what was in a Heath bar? <laughs> it's English toffee. <laughs> Shout out Drake and Josh Pod. Uh, I don't know what episode that is, but... Um, All right, Trevor, Heath number bar one, Heath is bar, number, one. number two. I really love Skittles. That's respect. Skittles, are, I good. Really, Skittles are great. I really love Skittles. And it's a tie for third with um, Milky Way and Three Musketeers. Depends on if I'm feeling caramel or not. You know right what I mean? Right on. Right on. That's fair. They're more or less uh, the same go... candy bar, except with or without caramel. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna go number one is York peppermint patty. Uh, Ooh, shout out to that's all that's the a good call, out there. but also very good. That is genuinely the best candy that is, that exists. I I don't think there's anything better. Nothing makes me happier. How do you feel about an Andy's York mint patty? Trash. 
Don't even talk to me about Andy's. Damn. Okay. Um, Dang. Dang. Okay. York peppermint Shit. patties. I like an Andy's. Frozen. Me put too. them in the freezer. Uh, and let me eat 10 at a time and then feel terrible <laughs> for four hours. Uh, that's the move. Number two. They are easy. so much gone. mint. Um, oh, Reese's. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's a classic. Number two is Reese's peanut butter cup for sure. Uh, and then number three is a tough one. I honestly just would like to say jelly beans. Like Ew. in general, I love jelly beans. Like That's Jelly fair. Belly. I mean, you could pop Trader them Joe's lot, brand. But... Um, no, you got to go Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly. Yeah, dude. I mean Jelly Jelly Belly are are great. Specifically, the tropical or like island variant of Jelly Belly, but Trader Joe's brand jelly beans are pretty good too. So. Uh, you know, that I. I'm that's gonna a, disagree that's with you on that one. That's f- totally fine. I think Heath Bar is a fucking garbage candy. I didn't say anything, but you yeah, know, I mean, I'm. Ball. It's um, crazy that he picked it. <laughs> what the? What? But I, I, I mean, I hatred. also agree with Trevor that I wouldn't put jelly beans anywhere near my top. <laughs> so yeah, and that's totally but, fine. Um, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm taking those shots. All right, that's my top three. Yeah, my top three uh, would be Twix, easy, easy one. Oh, um, Twix. I forgot about Twix. Twix is you like an what? easy one because it's also like you could just eat that as a normal dessert. I'll, I'm happy yeah. with a fucking Twix bar as a dessert at the end of the night. Easy. You know what? I'm, ch- I'm changing out my bottom, my, my number three to Twix. And then the tie for fourth is the other two. I respect the shit out of that. I All forgot right. about Twix for a second. <laughs> um, number two, Pandering. Reese's. Obviously. Um, number three... I might go crunch. I do like crunch, and I kind of forget about them sometimes. But crunch bars are good, so I respect Crunches that. Are I respect good. that out of this movie. I'm gonna go crunch bar this time. As a third place, though, like I love. I will. A crunch yeah, bar it's too, really just but... because I have a really strong top two, and um, the, the three could be a varied spot. You know. Interesting. All right. All right. Anyway, so Nestle but crunch yeah, I go paid a bunch of money to get a to get a. I salute. love chocolate too, but Skittles, man, Skittles are hard not to do. Skittles are great. <laughs> I, fruity candy is good. I'm a big orange what color trident Skittles gum is you, guy. Is you guys' favorite? I just put a handful in my mouth at a time. <laughs> my faves are the red and purple. It definitely goes red, purple, orange, yellow. What about sour Skittles? Abby How do you would guys be feel pissed, about dude. She I don't need sour the, Skittles. The citrusy ones. Sour Skittles are great, except they like literally make sores in your mouth. Dude, I <laughs> yeah, never rip do your that. Mouth I open. only go red bag. Red bag or nothing. I love what about Starburst? Oh, no, classic red bag. Starburst? I Starburst, love Starburst. Easy pink and red. Pink and red are the are the goats. You gotta go all four. You can't just rank two of the four. <laughs> I can. I can and I will because no, the other two bullshit. are garbage tier. <laughs> pink, red, yellow, I, orange. I like orange for Starburst. Orange is the worst. I like orange I won't hear and it. I like red. Alright. Anyway. anyway. What were you That's saying about two, the plot of this movie? The plot, I mean, they fucking... So the elephant dies, right? And and Cahill's, like, last uh, holy American act is to get an elephant for the village. So Doyle comes in. He's fucking pissed. He's a by-the-book guy. He doesn't want to cooperate with the village. Um, he's such a Cahill's, jackass for a good also, portion I didn't, of this movie. Um, so the beginning, when he is on the helicopter, does he just hate... Does he hate flying? Because that didn't carry when he threw up. Why did he throw up? Because they were going they, uh, so dipping the, up and down and swinging left and right. But that happened in the in the air in the um, big like carrier plane, whatever you call it. The there's cargo no plane. consistency with this film. The cargo it wasn't plane. Made for it a joke at down. that point though. Yeah, but it was a joke. It was supposed to be a joke. They were like, you saw all those looks at the pilots shot each other. Like, oh, this guy's a fucking jackass. Like, let's but make him throw up. Why would they up. not carry that? I don't understand why. That, because like, it's why a would fucking that be the one thing. Jacob, this Why is a movie they carry about the fact airdropping that... an elephant into a Vietnamese village in the middle of a war. That doesn't excuse it. <laughs> yes, yeah, they also excuse Jacob. <laughs> they also didn't carry the fact that um, God, what is the elephant's name? Oh, Botet. crap. Botet, Botet. You motherfucker. Botet. I'm sorry, <laughs> Botet. They also didn't carry the fact that Botet didn't like flying, because. They first put him on the plane, and then he wakes up, and he freaks out. Then they're, like, going to go airdrop him in, and he's just fine. That's true. He's just fine riding in the back of that plane. I'm like, I'm there's pissed. no consistency with this film. Guys, it's not a good movie. Like, Trevor I don't think we it. have to Trevor stress. Trevor gave it a 10 out of 10. We don't, we don't have I, to stress the fact that it's I'm not a good film. I'm rewriting history, Trevor. It is a, I'm back it is to a, a six. Disney, I'm back to a six. 
It is a Disney to a six. movie about the Vietnam War. But that doesn't matter. There, it's it, you're you're taking that as an excuse. But like, there are so many great Disney movies. So like, what are no, you? No, I don't about? think it's an excuse at all. <laughs> I think it's just like this movie is fucking terrible. But it can be enjoyed if you stop trying to think about it critically. So yeah, they get the know. they they go. They have to get another. El- <laughs> hold on, they have to go get another elephant. Yeah. They have to get another elephant for this village. That's the basically the plot. They have to get the elephant. They get the elephant. And they have to get it back to the village. Yeah. By Friday. And so, and so the, oh, the really elephant the travels. Crunch? You didn't the notice elephant, the time crunch? This kid, he was probably playing fucking RimWorld while he watched it. He didn't I even. I wasn't. Watch it. No, I wasn't, dude. I was laying. Jacob right is back canceled. There on my couch. Hashtag Loudy. Jacob is canceled. Don't cancel me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about the time crunch so often. There was. The, yeah. Uh, I was drinking. Sarah, gotta I was get it back by Friday. Dude. Gotta get it back by Friday There's because a ceremony, you gotta have. And then, yep, the sunrise. You gotta ride the elephant into the village. Uh, Ew. Whatever yeah, whatever the, the, the prince of fire can't walk into the village on his own feet. He's gotta ride in on the elephant or something like that. Yeah, the people are gonna support me. <laughs> I can't wait to see. They will not. I think. I think we're gonna get an aggregate score of nine out of ten with the people. Shout out to the people. <laughs> <laughs> There's everybody gives it a ten except nah. the one guy that gives it an eight and it drops down the rating a little bit. <laughs> totally fine. I got what I wanted. I mean, yeah, the plot's insane. They travel. They're in a truck for some time. They're in a plane for some time. They're in a boat. for Yeah, some can time. we talk about uh, when they're on the truck? Or, or this is like the midpoint. They we have the worst fight in cinematic history. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, the one where he sneaks up out of the rearview mirror? Oh, on the bridge. That's no, amazing. On the bridge. Where they just poke each other in the and head? That is not amazing. They don't have it. They Not a single hit connects. <laughs> this, Riss, so, this is the Riss, worst fight. Riss came out of the bedroom We're all over during the that place point, with this damn thing. And I'm just like smiling ear to ear and like, oh, oh. And she's like, what the fuck are you watching? Did she not watch it? What did she, she didn't watch no, it? No, no. She was. She went to. Oh, I want to know I what she would have thought. I watched it kind of late. She was like, "I'm not going to watch this movie." I asked her if she would if she would watch it with me. I respect said, that. Abby didn't want to watch it. <laughs> she said, yeah, "I'm not she watching." Said, this. No. Well, I mean, honestly, <laughs> that's kind of fucked up to both Abby and Teres. What are you going to do? You know, like. <laughs> I did try to push for it, but Abby wanted I appreciate to finish that. the season of Survivor. I also tried to, to push fair, for it. It was juicy. It was juicy. I also Shout out to push season for seven it. of Survivor. And she was like, no, I'm going to go to fucking lay in bed alone in the quiet instead of watch this movie with you. In the cold. So, you know. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah it's icicles. It's, not, it's damn hot, actually. I mean, now you guys know how like, I feel how having f- to watch all these movies by myself. Damn, Rick how the Trev. Fuck do you, like, if any of you girls out there want to date Trev. <laughs> yeah, hit up uh, T-Storch Zero on Instagram. I'm sure he's yeah, got a hit- Tinder and Bumble and shit, too. Hit up. I, I um, have a Tinder, hit up Bumble, at, Hinge, at and skinny, coffee skinny meets abs bagel. on fucking Twitter. <laughs> what the fuck is coffee with bagel? Coffee meets bagel is a, a dating app that exists. That's not very good. All right, I think this that's pretty fucked the up. They're trying to they're trying to fucking capitalize on people loving coffee and bagels. That's fucked. It, also, All right. I will say that um, those has two, you can't really rate those two against each other. Co- you said it's coffee beats bagel. No, meats. I said you're trying to capitalize oh, on meats bagel. Okay, no, I respect that. <laughs> are you a I coffee like, person beats bagel, or are you bro? a bagel person? Yeah, that's one fucked, or the Because I love both. It's I'm a like big boat. so. Do you swipe coffee or swipe bagel? Is that how you do it? <laughs> you get like a curated like one or two people a day, and then you hit yes or no on them. What are we talking? Dating apps are <laughs> dating apps are fucking. Yeah, I'm weird, so dog. glad that I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, I All right, wish so, I wasn't. I hate it. It's the here's worst. Here's the thing. I think instead of talking about plot, let's talk about characters, right? So we got Cahill's Danny Glover. We talked about him. We got Doyle, who's Ray Liotta, who's just like some hard ass by the books fucking jackass. No one cares about Doyle. You've got Poole. I liked Doyle Dennis, more. Dennis, that's fucked, Jacob. Dennis Theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Dennis, Actually, uh, that's not Dennis true. Leary I, I didn't like him more, but I think I think he's prob- fine. He's fine, but Dennis he's also Leary. fuck that guy. Dennis Theory, yes, Trevor. He was probably my favorite character, David Poole. Poole that and, was the, and uh, that H.A. Was the, are my the favorites. The dude who was getting the shit for him. Yeah, the mm. requisitions officer. He was good. He had great glasses. Dope shades. Great glasses. Great like, anger with his briefcase through the whole movie. Like, love it. Yes. Also, Ashford's... I think his name is Ashford. 
Ashford, uh, yes, his superstition. Yes, Dougie is like my favorite. Oh, I did like the, the fucking, scene. That was um, so good. Yeah, I did like the scene where they're talking about superstitions, where it's where it's him and Lin, and uh, yeah. Lin's teaching him about all the different superstitions in Vietnam. And he keeps going and back then, to the like, elephant, it, and then it keeps coming up like the um, yeah, yeah. He keeps coming the back bird. to the elephant and touching it every time he he's says like, oh, that's thing. that's not that's not. And it. then the bird that's keeps coming up. The, the bird was really good. See, I like that. That was good. That was nice. But also the bird payoff at the ends, where it's like the crow is there as he's trying to save the day, and he says like some dumb fucking quip to the crow. He's and like, then you better just, get like, out of here, it bird. Moving. Like, that shit is trash. He couldn't move when he saw a crow 20 minutes ago. You yeah, know? but he like, knew fuck. that it was his time to shine. Didn't you see him pull his cord when he had to fucking fall Dude, out that, of the tree? Dude, that fight. When I kind of like, liked that moment. He shoots three, air, three shots in the air, and they go like, huh? And then everyone just disarms each other. So They bad. would never. That would, no, they um, disarm. They disarm two of the Viet... Is it the Viet Cong, I believe, right? The VC. But the yeah, North the Vietnamese same. Army. I don't know who it is. They it's disarm all the same two. Thing. He shoots in the air. Uh, Doyle and Cahill disarm two of them. And then Ashford is like, put your guns down to the rest of them. And they all just, there's like put five more of them. And they just put their guns down. This is Disney. Don't shoot. Put what? them down. Like, amazing. what? <laughs> also, the fucking, like, right before that, when the elephant is airdropping in, he says, I so, did not join this army to shoot elephants, especially ones that fly. Like, can you cross pro- can you cross promote Dumbo more in this movie? Can you? Okay, the no, last to song be fair, Dumbo, Dumbo does come up next when you watch it on Disney Plus. It does. Exactly. But, uh, to Dumbo, be fair, 2019 Dumbo. Hold on. I want to talk about that cuz I feel like that was a whole reference to their religion thing. The the elephants used to fly Oh, and, that uh, makes sense. The, the father of God was a flying elephant, so a cool. flying elephant is like, this is this is a bit, this is a bit much, you know? Like, yeah, that's fair. You're shooting at something that's basically representing your God or the father of your God. Like, yeah, okay. oh, that's a bit rough. Fair. That was my thought I mean, on that. And anyways. also, I, I said that, but I do love when the Dumbo song comes on. Like the Ice and the Elephant Fly song is like the credits song at the end of the movie. I love that part. Um, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. Wow, what the fuck, guys? Uh, uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's, I like have a, to... it's a ridiculous movie. Go on, Trev. I have a big negative one to this whole film, though. Uh, not a single time do we hear Fortunate Son. Not once. Yeah, what? but the soundtrack is so good. Like, the whole beginning thing. that Like, the whole, like, with the, the Hueys and all the helicopters. It's like... That's the time to play Fortunate Son. That yeah, is but every the... every Vietnam movie plays Fortunate Son. That shit is too because cliche. it's great. Yeah, but all the because songs they it's... play in this are great too. Hang on, Sloopy, phenomenal. I wanted Fortunate Son. I'm sorry, I wanted Fortunate Son. You didn't. You can't get it. I wanted it, and I didn't get uh, it, and so I was disappointed. Fucked up. <laughs> that's pretty much. That's like, what else do you want from me? That's no. That's that's totally fair. Uh, this feels like it's going to be the shortest episode of the podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just over here. I'm hands. over here with my head in my hands. And now, now I know what what these two have felt felt like the last few episodes, and I've been that guy within like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I mean, they're like it's just uh, so goofy to talk about the plot. I think we could talk about we can we can do it like this, right? There's no point in going scene to scene. I think what we should do is oh, I've got things to say. I've got things. We to should say. go. Trevor, go on. We Trevor, should go elephant. Elephant on boat, elephant on truck, and elephant on plane are the main three sections of the film. Okay, I will say for listing off my things, those pilots are bastards. They are real bastards. Real bastards. Why is that guy such a bastard? He's like, he's like, I'm gonna kill elephant so bad. Like, what's your fucking deal, bro? Chill. Like, what? I don't understand. No. Anyways, they could have totally. By the way, whenever um, Iowa. Uh, Farley. I'm just gonna call him Iowa. Dude, I love Farley. Such uh, a sweetheart. Wh- whenever he trips and breaks the the other suppository, yeah, the tranquilizer, they still could have easily just like just just shoved it in there. That's too that easy. That was a Trev. capsule. You would have cut too up easy. his ass though. You would have cut up the elephant ass. It was all no, yeah, that's a dissolvable capsule. Call, man. Somebody that's call Peter. Ca- call Peter. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling Peter right now. Peter was probably pissed when they saw an elephant fall out of the sky. <laughs> They could have done. Also, the elephant would have broken his legs in that paradrop. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely <laughs> would have. 
It's fucking busy. That, he, that cage had springs on it. You shit. So <laughs> I'm gonna get into the true story now. Okay. By the way. Yes. So the true story was they had two elephants, by the way, in the true story. Uh they were training the villagers to be like military. So it was Green Berets training like the southern Vietnam villagers. That's pretty cool. And they were like building the training area like on site because shipping in wood was too expensive. They cut down all the trees within like a pretty decent wide area and made boards out of them. And they were like, we need to get more wood. And like all the equipment and trucks like they were talking about in the movie, like uh, like all the equipment just breaks down in that terrain so quickly. Mm. So the village head was like, hey, what about elephants? And they were like, we're going to get elephants. <laughs> so they just did. They just they flew them on a plane. They tranquil they bought them across the country, tranquilized them, flew them in a plane, and they were actually going to do the pair drop thing. But the British SPCA protested super hardcore. And so they twi- they switched it to a helicopter just pick up and then dropped it. Like picked it up and like landed it in a clearing. Two elephants. And it was done. It was easy. Man, there was no that is very fighting loosely based. <laughs> it was the, like reading the whole specifics of it, the most loosely based. Like they even got the elephants and there was no time constraint because a big battle happened. So all the uh, aerial vehicles in the area were like at the battle. So they're like, yeah, you guys got to wait like a month before we can fly these elephants in. And they just did. They just waited and then they did it and it was fine. Classic <laughs> Vietnam, all long and drawn um, out. A bunch of news reporters were there when the elephants landed in the village, like American news reporters. Uh, and the reason it was not front page news because all this went down the same day as Martin Luther King Jr. got shot. Oh, shit. Yeah. So nobody yeah. talked about it. To uh, the but they were actually we're talking doing. about... Yeah, they were talking about doing the big paradrop thing, and they didn't because danger to an animal. I mean, that seems legit. <laughs> And that elephant being awake and standing would have broken his legs a hundred percent. That is not you do not softly land when you parachute. Yeah, you do. Like, come on, haven't you do you, not. Haven't you seen any movies, bro? <laughs> it's <laughs> just a soft. All right, legs. wait. Sorry, let's talk I'm, about I'm let's ran- talk about the boat. The boats, because Trevor had mortar. mortar the boat. Things. I the love that boat part. Scene. He's like, is it H. possible to on- mortar on a boat? Ashford I gets don't on. No, he gets on. He's like, "Oh shit, it's my mortar buddy," and he's like, "Hey, my boy, like call in this mortar at this location," and it comes like right in close to them, and they're all freaking well, they out. Don't... But HA's like, "No, this is perfect because we're moving, and they're moving towards us, and by the time we fire the next one, it's gonna hit right on the fucking boat directly." That's come so, on. That was in an artillery encampment Bad. that he was calling into, and when you say. Fire for effect. Fire for effect does not mean just shoot another one. Fire for effect means launch, launch a bunch of them. It's multiple artillery pieces launching at one time. That was not, that was not a mortar. Like they also, the mortar on the boat is ridiculous because there's so much sway and the smallest amount of like angle difference on those things can have so much of a difference in where your shots are landing. Do you think they had a military like, advisor on this film? Uh, maybe. I don't know, man. Also, the fact that no one... Like, fine. Say all the Vietnamese got off of their boat before it blew up. <laughs> the fire for effect thing would have demolished them anyways. Because that's yeah. like a spread. Like, a radius, yeah. Like, they're, like, firing, like, multiple artillery pieces for a fire effect. I don't know. I was super effect. into it. I, I was cheering. I was pumping my fist. I was like, great shot, like, H.A. Great shot. No, and it, <laughs> it was, first of all, that he was even able to do it. Like, figure out the, the ranging and everything on it. But regardless, God, just... Like, I was excited at first. I was like, fire for effect. I'm like, oh, that's, I'm pretty sure that's a proper term. Like, that's what they would have said. That's cool. And then. One and done, homie. One and done. Just like, and they see it coming somehow. They're like, oh, 
here comes another shot. Yeah, Let's I didn't understand jump. that. Other it's than just like, Disney didn't want to see somebody fucking blown to pieces, which makes sense. Like, they could have just blown up the boat with them on it, but you didn't have to see, like, body parts flying no, off. No, because that's anything. still kind of fucked no, up. Too you much can't death. really show kids. Too much you can't death. show kids that. Even if it's the Vietnamese. Hey, shout out to the French boat captain. He was Singing cool. the opera, playing both sides. That guy's a legend. Yeah, he, had, he had a dope picture frame that one part of it was uh, fucking LBJ and the other part of it was the North Vietnamese leader. Was it? Is it Ho Chi Minh? Is that who it is? I think that's who it was, right? I don't know. That don't sounds know. right. I don't know. That I, sounds right, sure. I have no idea. I haven't studied the Vietnam War since high school, so... <laughs> But um, but that's pretty much it, right? Are we done? Oh, that's most of my stuff. I mean, I I could start listing off gun names, but I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I don't know. It's, there was, it's, we can't be done. Why not? Like, <laughs> uh, like no, because I hate it whenever my movies get wrapped up too quickly. I don't want I don't want to wrap up Will's movie. I too do want to list a couple of points. So the first point where I was like, "What am I watching?" was at thirty six minutes in. Um, I I wrote down thirty six minutes in. How the fuck is there still over an hour left? That's what I wrote down. <laughs> um, Anything else? <laughs> Anything about the actual like things that happen in the film? Yeah, I mean, I wrote down like plot points. It's like. You know, I mean, the kid is, like, with them, and, like, uh, Danny Glover's, like, trying to, like, bond with the kid and shit. That was sweet. And the yeah. poor kid had it rough, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a there's a, a callback to the initial, um, like, first scene where uh, there's, like, a bunch of people riding on elephants in a river, and they get, like, destroyed by the... Um, by a random army in the beginning we don't know who it is but it, it's the it it ends up being the north vietnamese right we don't does he say no, who, it, who attacked his family his mom and sister were killed by the north vietnamese his dad he doesn't know because it was a skirmish between america and north vietnamese troops yeah so he doesn't know who actually like who he actually got shot by yeah but that was a nice little callback i didn't think um I didn't see that coming, honestly. I didn't think they were to call back to the first scene at all. I thought it was random. <laughs> but uh, they called back to it, and it was the kid's family, which was sad. Um, and he was pretty broken up about it, and they had a nice little conversation between him and Danny. Um, it's not random. Yeah. They say Botat. They say Botat in that first scene. That's the elephant. Mm. So See, I didn't Botat. know who Botat was, so I didn't. I didn't really remember. Yeah, I didn't pick up. That's why on you gotta remember. watch it. You gotta watch it three times. You gotta That's watch really it fifty unbeal- times. Unbeal- <laughs> Of all the films we needed to watch three times, I'm not going to say this was it. No, it's absolutely <laughs> not it. I mean, yeah. I, um, listen, what can you say? A Dougie Doug is funny. Farley is funny. Pool's great. That they both fucking, have great moments. That fist fight on the bridge is ridiculous. Um, it's the worst fist fight of all time. The soundtrack is wonderful. If you're looking for a Disney Vietnam movie, here you go. Like I true, like what the true. fuck else can we say about this movie? <laughs> you can't I just say anything to, else. I just <laughs> wanted to make you guys watch it. I just wanted to make you guys watch it, and I'm happy. I, to, I, had, a, I had a good time. I really gave us a sub six, and this is not that it proves that I'm not a fucking snob, and I only like things that are critically acclaimed. Win win. I I I really enjoyed the scene whenever they're trying to get Botat and they're negotiating with that other village head, yeah. who is played by James Hong. That guy is in so what is much he, stuff. What is he from? I like. I recognized him. He's and, in so much shit. He's in. Like, so he's much. in I'm pretty sure right? he was. I'm pretty sure he was in. Um, I don't see it listed off the bat. He was in Kung Fu Panda. It's like everything that they need, uh, like an older Blade Runner, an older Asian guy in. They just they put him in. They're like, all right, fill that role. Blade you're Runner. And you're That's funny. what it is. It's, he's Blade <laughs> Runner. Is he the? He's the fucking. Is he the stall? Like the shopkeeper in Blade Runner? Maybe. I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to see the one that I'm really thinking of, which is um, that ping pong movie. Uh, Wasn't he in the ping pong movie? 
uh, fuck. I, I know think, exactly what you're talking I, about. Balls of what is it? Balls of Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury. Yes, <laughs> I've seen that movie. That movie is. I can't believe that. bad. How did that movie get made? What is that movie? <laughs> He's in that, right? Isn't he in that? Probably. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen that since it came out. Or am I just being also mildly? Big shout out! Big shout out to fucking Rockstar Games Table Tennis. What do y'all know about that? I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> Rockstar <laughs> Games, know. but he was in Balls the of Fury. I behind just Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption yep. made a ping pong game. I still gotta play Red Dead. Red Dead it's Two. Okay. I played Red Dead One. Yeah, Red Dead Two. I gotta play Red Dead Two as well. Still haven't beat it. I've I've had it since the day it came out. Still haven't beat it. It's so fucking long. I know. It's like it seems like daunting to get into because it's so long. It's like it's so, so long, I just gotta dude. do it. I just gotta suck up the suck it up and buy it. And play I keep it. taking yeah, like three too. months no, breaks and going back right to it. I feel like that's how everybody's been playing it. Everybody has been playing it like in bursts. You gotta do it in chunks. It's too long to do it otherwise. It's too fucking long. I don't know, man. I hundred percented the first game. So did I. Yeah, same. No, that's not true. Damn, I didn't 100%. So it's that big? No way. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was like, damn. No way. Well, no. I didn't 100% the first the game was amazing. DLC, but everything else, 100%. The first game is like I played one of my all-time. played Nightmare. That was good. Yeah, it's great. It was good. The first game is, a, is an all-timer for me. That's like top five games of all time. In yes, terms like, of How many times experience? did you guys try... Wait, how many times did you guys try and um, beat The Last Stand? Like... Did you guys actually go back and like reload saves oh, on that? You mean like, at the, the very last one? part of uh, Red Dead when you're trying to get out of the barn or something? Yeah. No, did you guys I, ever did, try I didn't. I like, go back and beat it. No, I didn't reload. No. It's not possible. But I, I didn't think I, it I, would I think be. I reloaded. I think I reloaded like four or five times trying like, to see I'm if not I could like do it. Your dad came in. Like, I want to get out of this. Uh, but that's pretty much the movie, right? Are we like what's? Yeah, I mean, there's. I mean, I mean, it's wonderful for me. And it's pretty much going to be terrible for you if you choose to watch it. Um, it. It wasn't terrible. It was there was some definitely very funny moments. Fucking big shout out the, to Trev because I thought I was going to get like multiple like sub five scores. So, um, damn dude, not a big shout me. out to me. That's fucked. You gave it a four, motherfucker. You gave it what I, I thought to. you would. I know I that's great. Like the I fact I want you to give it a four. Like Ray Liotta dive bombing after insane the elephant like insane. Like he never would have caught oh. up in time with how low to the ground they were. Also, Lynn just like yeah, there was so much Danny sky Glover. <laughs> yeah, like, not even in his even own at least parachute. Tie a rope around him. I was like, what the fuck? When Danny Glover's parachute opens, he's falling to his death. The force of that, you cannot hold on to that. Yeah, I didn't remember that. I was like, holy yeah. shit, and this about is the, insane. And about the force of it, whenever Ray Liotta like pulls his to try and pull um, the elephant's parachute. Yeah, his at the arm same is time. ripping off. His arm is gone. That arm yeah. is just gone. Or yeah. your hand, at least. Yeah. That was great. Like, because he, great like, wraps the strap around his hand. At the very least, it would have peeled. He would have just had, like, bones at the end of his Ooh. fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Peel his skin. Like. Off. So. Ugh. If you want to watch. Regardless. <laughs> oh, the fucking anecdote. I meant to mention this at the beginning of the movie. They. Dennis Leary, Ray Liotta, and Danny Glover all have spoken about how grueling and awful shooting this movie was. And they all, I think it was Dennis Leary who had this anecdote, maybe Ray Liotta, but I saw it on Wikipedia yesterday. They, at a certain point in the shooting, they all were so fed up that they carried around pictures of the properties they were going to buy with the money they made from making this movie because it was so grueling. <laughs> and they were just picturing <laughs> themselves at these properties. Uh, Damn. Like, which I think just goes, I mean, like, the you know, they were there for a paycheck. And, like, of course you are. It's a fucking Disney movie. The people do the same thing now. Uh, but, like, they shot this on location in Thailand for a lot of the film. Um, so, It's like you know, the I'm Disney sure version of Apocalypse Now. Yeah, it's Disney's Apocalypse Now. Yeah, where Danny Glover is basically Marlon except Brando. Except Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now is like a million times better. <laughs> I think sure. a million is still an also, understatement. I, <laughs> I forgot to mention the um, with the true story they were gonna bring the elephants by boat originally. Well, elephants do apparently actually get seasick. Oh, that's funny. Wow. So, so the vomit part was that was somewhat the truthful. vomit part was somewhat true. Yeah, I don't know if it would have thrown up, but they do get seasick apparently. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're in the mood for a war movie, check. 
Definitely watch like Full don't Metal watch Jacket. This. Yeah, don't watch this if now, you're in a bit. <laughs> or <laughs> Hamburger Hill. Don't watch Hill, this if you're in the room for a war movie. What? Platoon. But if you want to watch a Disney Vietnam watch movie. Watch Stripes before you watch this for a war movie. Like, All I'm saying is Disney made a Nam movie and no one knows about it. No one I understand know why. It. I understand why. But I think that this is a cultural artifact that should not be forgotten because it is fucking insane. Anyway, it is an insane film. That's pretty much it. I mean, this is probably our yeah, shortest episode of all time. But also, I, don't, like, I yeah. can't imagine what else we could talk about at this point. Nothing. Another gripe. I got another gripe oh, if God. you want to okay. hear that. Oh, yeah. Rip it, rip it, <laughs> rip it. Um, why is Iowa carrying around a radio pack when Poole just basically has a cell phone that is able to get in touch with anybody at any given point in this film? Don't know. Didn't Iowa's notice. got this. I didn't notice I, that either. I have no idea what you're talking about. I did. I'm sorry, but of course you did. <laughs> Farley, Iowa, has I was got too, a, like the whole. The, I was got the whole radio pack Botat. on. Shout out to Botat, dude. That's all I care about. Just get that fucking Botat elephant home. and Botat and Lynn were great. But great. That, just what was the point of having the giant radio pack, dude? When, when Farley, when Farley gets Poole, on Botat, Poole's got a cell phone. When Farley gets on Botat and rides him into the. <laughs> <laughs> into the the fucking village anyway the village bit, guys, oh that was it's not a good movie all right i love it dearly yeah it, uh, but i've watched it that. since i was since I was, <laughs> no it's a bad movie trevor i think that it would be insane for any of us to say that it's not a bad movie it's got a fucking I like 30 percent i think it's crazy that trevor gave it that high of a rating not i love seen it. it when he was a i kid. love it shout I out think to that's fucking crazy. i think that shows trevor's trevor's a true inside OG. child is <laughs> <laughs> He's he's always a child. He's been a child for. It his has whole life. like a five point one on IMDb and like a thirty yeah. percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Like it's <laughs> it's a critically derided film. But well, that's five point one on IMDb. That's critically and audience because the audience is the one that's rating that. <laughs> there you go. So everyone hates this movie like, except me and Trevor. I no. I uh, yeah. I don't hate it. Yeah, good work. Trevor. I either. I love it. I will never watch <laughs> it again it. on my own, though. No, we're gonna like, watch never it. Never again. We're, we're you did say you. Before. I thought in the beginning you said you would watch it again, but maybe no. He would show I said it to I someone. Would sh- show it to someone. I would personally never choose to watch this again. There's a difference. I'm still pissed sh- that Abby didn't watch it. Abby, I love showing need people to watch stuff that's bad. <laughs> maybe she will. Who knows? Doubt she it. won't, and she shouldn't, <laughs> but she should. Um, uh, but that's right, been guys. the podcast, right, guys? Yeah, that's been the podcast. That's, that's guys. pretty much that it. was. We've got a good episode that coming was a up thing. next week. Uh, if you're for whatever reason in the mood to not read the news, or just to take a break from reading the news, um, and you want to hear some goofy shit, obviously this week. But next week, I think will be a great discussion. I'm I'm very much looking forward to talking about it. Uh, Trevor's next. I'm pick. glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that. Um, <laughs> whether it's good or bad, I don't know. But I'm just looking forward to talking about it uh cool yeah man uh that's uh, that's about it for me um yeah i'm good i got most all my gripes out so i'm good yeah thanks for listening guys